Hi everyone, my name is Davina. Today's video is a little bit of a check-in to make sure that you're looking after your well-being amidst this application process. We understand that it can be difficult to look after yourself, especially when there are so many things to do. However, it's really important you prioritize your well-being to prevent burnout and keep yourself going through the lengthy application process. Your preparation may have begun as early as July for UCAT and finish as late as March the following year with interviews. So it's really important you pace yourself through this. Here are some tips on how to keep a good balance. Number one, remember to plan ahead. Planning ahead will not only help you keep on top of your work as the deadlines come rolling in, it will also make sure you've scheduled in some rest time. You don't have to have a super strict hour-by-hour -hour schedule, just something that lets you know what you want to get done in specific days or weeks when things are piling up. Another really helpful thing to do is break down big tasks. Facing a large or long project like application can be extremely daunting. To ensure you've nailed every part of it and get an idea of how to best approach the task, break it down into smaller chunks that you can cross off your checklist as you go along. The next thing you can do is set yourself goals and rewards. The list of work to do may seem never ending in the application phase. When you're done writing your personal statement, you may be faced with a test at school. Once that's done, you might have to start preparing for interviews. It can almost feel like you can never catch a break. Remember to set yourself checkpoints and reward yourself when you reach them. So, if you finally submitted your UCAS application, take the evening off and go to the cinema. If you've completed that test at school, go put your feet up and enjoy some time with your friends. Keep reminding yourself of how far you've come along your journey to university. Another thing I would recommend is exercise. Exercise not only keeps you physically healthy, but also improves your stress levels and mental health too. The World Health Organization recommends 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, like walking, or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise, like running, per week. It can be great for your health to try and meet these targets. Most importantly, if you're struggling, please reach out. A lot of us struggle with stress and their mental health in this time period, and some of us from personal experience too. We know that this is common, but the fear of stigmatization and judgment often stops people reaching out for support when they feel their worst. If you are stressed, please talk to your friends and family, speak to your teachers or anyone you're comfortable with. Everyone can appreciate the stress and anxiety at a time like this. Your teachers will often try to support you in this time period by cutting you some slack if you let them know that you're struggling to keep up with the workload. Your family and friends may support you emotionally too. It is totally okay to reach out and can be helpful for you. To sign off this video, we know that the application process is probably the most stressful time you have faced so far. We've all gone through it, but we know that it's really important you stay connected with your family and friends and let them look after you when you need it the most. At the end of the day, keep doing what you love because you are still a person outside of medicine and dentistry, and it's really important that you look after yourself too. This will only become more apparent when you get into university and eventually become a doctor or dentist in the future. Remember, you've worked really hard to get where you are now. So remember to give yourself some space to look after yourself too.